Uh, I'm headed to feed a place, technically, but we're gonna pull them off the wheat pasture. It's uh, mid-March. No, it's early March. I don't really know what day it is. Don't ask me what day it is. It's not gonna happen, me knowing what day it is. But, uh, normally early March, I about sucked this toothpick down. Uh, about normally early March, mid-March, you start pulling cattle off of wheat that you're gonna harvest. So, we've got this place. We've already pulled off of South Place, which was 210 head, 206, 210, 206. I don't know, I think it was 209. I don't know. Uh, pulled off of there already. We're gonna harvest that rye, and we're gonna pull off of Kathleen's and harvest this wheat. Uh, we've just been having trouble with a well, trying to get the water running. But we're gonna pull them off the wheat pasture into the grass pasture there's a lot of winter grass in there for them to eat and then tomorrow me and Tucker will set up the lots and we'll catch them on what's tomorrow the next day whatever the next day I don't even know what to Wednesday today is Wednesday so we'll set up the lots tomorrow which will be Thursday possibly catch them on Friday move them on Friday here to the west place and then uh, move them from the west place down to Elmer maybe Monday maybe I don't know we'll just have to see but we're gonna go play cowboy <laughs> well it turns out uh, that out of the 52 that are here on this place <laughs> there's only two in the grass so maybe they'll come to me. Maybe they'll just not be turds today. A lot of times these kids don't. They don't. They don't play nice. See, we got two in here already. The rest of them are just way over there. Oh, there's some over by the pond. Wow, oh, that's a. <laughs> Look at us go. Barely having to do anything. Get up! Come on! We gotta go. Fatties are just laying around everywhere. We'll see what we gotta do. Well, seeing as I cannot get them over here with just the feed truck, the couple has gone out into the wilderness. Look how good these things look. Especially that one. Right, right there, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He's a... Uh... These used to be fluffy because they came from Utah. He's no longer fluffy, he's fat. <laughs> well, some of them are coming following me. I need all of them to come follow me. Oh, they're here they come. They're running now. They just, they just want to be lazy. I don't know. I gotta spin the other way so that way I can stick you all out the window. The wind is out of the south. Do not feed with your window down if you are facing south direction. If face north direction when wind is out of south direction. Well, I thought dad fell off his four-wheeler. Jeez. There they are. This thing is just hard to turn. got a bad eye? I think so. Okay, it's all right. Gotta go. <laughs> I kind of missed the trough there at the beginning. <laughs> Oops. Do not camera while driving. Do not feel, I don't know. And we're back to our regularly scheduled programming where we go feed everywhere. Even 
though it's in the afternoon. We were working on the well this morning. That's why that's why I didn't get to feed this morning. But we're feeding now, that's all that counts. And then we're gonna go run a speed disc. Oh, that thing scares the fire out of me. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're not back to our regular scheduled programming. Uh, uh, my calves actually, I, I rotate them every two days and today's the day to rotate them. So they're, the calves are not happy with me for not feeding them this morning and they're not coming. Why are y'all flying over whenever I'm trying to do this? So rude, do they not understand? Some people's kids. Anyways, I gotta move them today because they're only, I mean, they'll run out of pasture if I don't. Here, hanging out with Mel's mowing grow. I think they know what that means. I have a slight idea that they know what that, that their toot toot means. They're kind of coming, I don't know. There's always like two to three stragglers that come along. So that's why the dogs and mom and dad are here. So I'm a part of this right here. And I'm gonna go close the gates, make sure they don't come out. Ooh. And I gotta move these mineral blocks. Okay, they're not mineral blocks, they're actually bloat blocks. Bloat blocks kind of keep the uh, gases built up. Keep, keeps the gases from building up in their gut. Whenever they blow, uh, they basically suffocate to death. And it's because the, uh, the wheat gets to growing so fast, it puts out a, uh, I don't know. You know, that's just something I don't know. I just know they create gas. Uh, we, we're gonna have to ask Dad on that one. Cause I I don't know if he even he knows. He probably knows. He's gotta know. Stay there and stay there. Hello. Hi. Bring your friends. What's up, dude? What been doing? Can I get closer to you? Can you not notice? doing this for the past two months so it's actually very very simple now they're trying to go out this other gate they're, they're feeling a little frisky today it feels pretty nice outside very nice Talking about the dogs. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Come on down. Off. Come on. Load up. Good girl. Hey. River. Alright. While the beast is warming up. I thought I'd come over here and show you kind of what we're doing. So I'm on Don's grass patch, and as you can see, I have gone over it one time. Um, I, did, I went over it for one time to kind of knock off some of the high spots in this field. Uh, kind of helps loosen up the soil a little bit. But to hit it a second time at full speed and that's because it's still very very rough whenever I don't do that I don't know if you can tell or not but this is a lot different than this over here I uh, I like it a whole lot better the second time because it was already kind of met, uh, mixed up a little bit and it's going to be a whole lot smoother to be able to swath and bail. That's what I really like about it. Uh, is it the right way to do it? Probably not. Uh, but last year we did it and it, the grass did really, really well. We only hit it one time last year, but this year we've got a little bit more moisture than we did. We, we could have almost probably started a fire if we hit a spark or a rock with that disc, but we'll see how fast we can go today. So yesterday for the first pass, I was running right around, I was right at 11th gear, uh, 1400 RPMs, which is probably the equivalent of uh, eight miles an hour. It felt pretty slow. And it was pretty slow because I'm only running 25 feet at a time. But whenever I was coming back in the second time, I was running 13th gear, 1800 RPMs. And uh, that's the, probably the equivalent of about 13 to 14 miles an hour with this tractor. I don't really know for sure. I don't have a speedometer and I don't have GPS right now. The GPS is not I can't see the tower, so I can't get reception down here. Uh, there's no phone, phone service and there's no dang uh, GPS service. So, maybe, I, it's not even gonna, I'm not even gonna turn it on. I've been driving this thing by hand for the past day, so. <laughs> Don has been out here driving around. <laughs> He, he called me this morning and said that he liked it, so.
grass fields. I got this field and then I gotta go over and uh, hit one like 13 acres of his. And I think we'll be headed back to the house with this thing. Hopefully I'll be done by six o'clock tonight. I don't know what I can plan, but it's not like I'm going anywhere. It's just kinda like we done six. Can you see the difference? I can sure feel the difference. I'm uh, I'm hitting my end row right here that I've uh, that I've already hit. Uh, most of it has been hit twice, so I can I I'm not bouncing around anywhere. Uh, I love it. I'm gonna have so much fun swapping this. Well, hopefully I will. If not, Tucker will, or Gabriel will, or Carson will. Who knows? Somebody's gonna have fun swapping this. Except for this massive crater right here. Yep, 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 that wasn't fun. Okay, now I gotta do one set of in rows and then I'm headed over to like 13 acres. This is a massive dip right here. Boy, yo, 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 yo. Good great. But, but I, I, I like it a lot. Well, they're gonna be happy. Well, we got two of them done. Well, two. Well, the. Okay, so they're split into two fields. I don't, I don't. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I. I uh, all I lack is these ends right here, and uh, that's it. And it is my. It, it's uh, six thirteen. I was close. I didn't quite make the time though. No. I tried. This thing sucks down the fuel whenever you start getting in, getting in and going. It uh, it's sucking down the uh, 15 to 17. It's sucking down 15 to 17 gallons per hour. Hour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 17 gallons. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of fuel. Uh, especially where if you have to do this, run this thing all day long, it's 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 a lot of fuel. But I hope he's all right with this. I uh, tried to make it look okay. I'd be okay. I'd be more than happy with it. Honestly, I'd be a little mad that we did we killed too much stuff, but he wanted a good kill on it, so. I tried. I I really am only going about that deep. So the tops of it is basically knocked off. The root system probably isn't. Um, but the plan is with this place is to sprig it into Bermuda grass. So uh, it won't be a bad that bad of a deal for him personally. I, I I really hope he wasn't wanting it like perfectly smooth because uh, I did leave it perfectly smooth, but the spriggers they don't they don't they don't leave it smooth. They're mean. They're mean about it. But I'm gonna fold this up. I got to fold it up and uh, go home. Come back and get the pickup because. Uh, Nobody wanted to drive me over here, so now they're gonna have to drive me back. That's all there is to it. All right. Okay. I slightly have an experiment I want to try since I'm already over here. Uh, I was driving past the duck pond. I was like, oh, we're gonna pull in there because I want to see how well this will do with the corn stalks. Now, listen, I'm only gonna keep it on my grass setting because it would take me way too long it I just don't want to do that much work to have to lower it like get my depth lower and then go to the grass next grass patch and raise that back up and I, I just I just don't want to do it so we're gonna see how it does in this corn patch I have a pretty good idea it'll do all right but 
I just kind of want to know. I mean, the drop, the stocks are dry, so it won't. It's not like I'm worried about it balling up or something. I don't know. I just want to see what it'll do, and then either bring this back over here and sink it a lot deeper, or bring an actual dip, a, a big disc over here and try it. I don't know. Let's. I, I don't know. We'll see how it works. terrible job really I kind of feel silly for not coming out here with the combine and well, you know getting the rest of the corn that didn't get used but I mean I guess it's not going very deep which I didn't expect it to but it's still smoothing it up a little bit I'll be able to do something with it I can either plant right into it or probably not plant right into it I'll probably ball the plant a plant 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 bleh. planter up but I'll come back over here and sink this thing deep in the ground and see how good of a job we can do this is just temporary maybe some moisture will get in there kind of if it ah, that's a careless weed. We get a rain, it'll do really nice for it. Oh, I hate these weeds. Jeez. It's gonna be a problem this year. The weeds, the weeds will be the problem. Well, I made it back to the house. Uh, Mom and Dad are gonna both take me back, apparently. Ha. Ah. They don't even know that I did the corn. Whoopsie. Uh, but it was a good day. Uh, I don't think we're going to work on the truck today. I think that'll be a uh, tomorrow thing. Tristan is sick. Uh, 
So we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out, Girl Scout.